professor of economics at Temple University, Michael Leeds. Michael, thanks for being with us. I know you specialize in economics, so you can help break down how sports really does impact a city. So the first question is, when a city experiences multiple championships, how much of a financial game changer is it? It's not, unfortunately. Um, it's a very nice thing for the city. I'm very happy for Tampa and for the residents of uh, the Tampa Bay area. But in terms of being an engine for economic growth for the city, uh, best not to uh, count on it. In terms of you know people not really changing how much money they spend, they, they actually just spend more on sports than something else? Well, let's look at the numbers. Uh, in fact, that the Tampa Rays brought in about uh, $250 million in the most recent numbers that I've seen. Uh, the Bucks brought in about $350 million, the Lightning a little under $100 million. For a total, a little bit under $700 million total, all three teams combined. If you look at the Tampa Bay area, uh, metro area economy, the uh, level of income there, the total level of income generated was about 150 billion. So we're talking about an industry that accounts for less than one half of 1% of the total economy. If all three teams disappeared from Tampa, you would still have 99.5% of the economy so you're really not talking about a lot of money here. While the entire country has struggled with supply chain issues, inflation, would you safely say sports are pandemic proof? <sighs> that was a deep well, breath. Some sports, some sports <laughs> are. I think that um, some of the sports, baseball, football, certainly have shown themselves to, to be so largely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.